Formaldehyde is a colorless gas that's considered a human carcinogen by the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer. It is in many types of household products and was in the news last year when some laminate flooring from lumber liquidators was reported to emit worrisome levels. Joanne Purden joins us now with a consumer alert about this. Joanne. Yeah, Carolyn Glenda, the EPA just acted yesterday on this issue, but first, Consumer Reports tested a variety of flooring and has some advice. Laminate flooring is less expensive than solid wood, but there have been concerns that the flooring emits formaldehyde. So Consumer Reports bought a variety of wood-based flooring products and ran lab tests over the past year. It was a small study, but we did find that laminate and engineered wood had consistently higher levels of formaldehyde emissions compared to pre-finished solid wood samples that we tested. If you're putting in new flooring, Consumer Reports says pre-finished solid wood flooring is a better choice for reducing formaldehyde exposure. If you've had laminate or engineered wood flooring for several years, there's less cause for concern because formaldehyde is a volatile chemical that will dissipate over time. The problem is lots of products can emit formaldehyde, especially when they're new. Things like permanent press fabric, upholstery, plywood, particle board, paints, and cigarettes all can emit formaldehyde. To lower formaldehyde levels, open windows to let in fresh air, wash permanent press clothing and curtains before using them, choose wood furniture without formaldehyde containing glues, and ban indoor smoking. But forget about using an air purifier. It probably won't lower formaldehyde levels, nor will putting a rug over your floor. Now, just yesterday, the EPA finalized a new rule to reduce exposure to formaldehyde vapors from certain wood products. Starting next year, wood products that comply with the new federal standards will be labeled, making it easier for consumers to make informed choices. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.